In this video, I'll be showing you the extensive set of editing controls available in Loop Cloud for creating patterns with any samples, both local and in the cloud. From the start, Loop Cloud has offered some great options for instant pattern creation when working with your samples, where you can choose a one shot sample, say, and then select a pattern for that sample from a number of different options, all categorized into groups. You can step through patterns from the menu with the previous and next buttons, or hit random pattern to have Loop Cloud select one for you. And when you're working with a door, with the Loop Cloud plugin on a MIDI track, the patterns synchronize to your beats. And when I'm liking it, I can download the sample and then drag out the processed option into my project to have the one shot sample sequenced into that pattern in a looped audio file. In addition to extensive automatic pattern creation though, Loop Cloud also offers a whole host of manual editing facilities, where I can copy the one shot by right clicking on the waveform and choosing duplicate, and then moving it around to create my own pattern. And I can also hold down the command key and then drag any region to copy it. Dragging the edge trims a region to change its length, Dragging the top edge changes the volume of a region. And the corners adds fades to the start or end. The slip tool lets you scrub through the sample to change the part that a slice plays. And then I can step through different samples to hear how they sound with my pattern. And also go back to the original if I preferred that using the history section. And again, downloading, then dragging out the processed version exports the one shot sequenced into my pattern straight into live. The editor also offers a bunch more really useful features though, which I'll show you with a new loop now. First though, I'll hit reset to clear my pattern and start again. Then I'll loop and zoom into the first bar. And then I'll choose the scissors tool and start slicing up the sample to create multiple regions. If you're using the regular mouse cursor, then a shortcut to this is to hold down the Option key, so you don't need to permanently set it to split mode to create regions. Similarly, the Mute tool allows you to mute and unmute slices. But this can also be done without switching to the Mute tool, just by double-clicking a slice. And the next tool along lets you reverse a slice by clicking on it. And many of the functions, like dragging a slice or trimming its edges, follow the grid timing, which is set to auto right now, so changes when you zoom in and out, but can be changed to a different timing or turned off to move slices freely. If grid snapping is left on though, you can just hold shift whilst dragging a slice to temporarily turn it off and move slices freely. So this can be handy for quickly making a manual adjustment to a slice position. Nice, I might just try a different part of the sample for this slice though. and some final level adjustments and fades on these last slices.
Then again, drag out the processed version to export the pattern into live. With this pluck one shot now, I'll show you the remaining tools, which have been added in version 5. First though, I'll set the grid to sixteenths. And then choose the pencil tool. And then draw in some slices with sixteenth note timing. I'll just loop and zoom in on that section. And the pencil tool also extends slices, so it's great for creating a pattern in a particular rhythm. And now, switching to the transposition tool, I'll make this into a proper arpeggio style phrase. And now, try out some different samples with my ARP pattern. Some great variety there. I like this one best though. So I'll buy that sample, download it, and drag it out, sequenced into my art pattern, into my project. And if you want to save a pattern, just choose Save Pattern from the menu and type in a name after which you can select it at any time from the user presets options at the bottom of the pattern menu. And finally, in the preferences, you can find keyboard shortcuts, where you can change numerous loop cloud parameters, including many editor commands, like zooming and all the tools. Making sample manipulation and unique loop creation quicker and easier than ever before. So some really awesome pattern personalization and management options in the latest version of Loop Cloud.